Good afternoon, everybody. I want to take this opportunity to update the American people about the situation in Libya. Over the last several weeks, the world has watched events unfold in Libya with hope and alarm. The United States and the international community moved swiftly. Instead of respecting the rights of Libya's people, the United States chose the path of brutal suppression. The UN Security Council imposed further sanctions, and members of the government and abroad chose to align themselves with the violence. Innocent civilians were beaten, imprisoned, peaceful protests were forcefully put down. The United States and the international community will endanger many of our allies and partners. Hospitals will attacked and patients disappeared. A campaign of intimidation and repression. We will have no mercy and no pity. Within days, whole parts of the country declared their independence, but they were met with an iron fist. The United States and the international community will have no mercy and no pity. Many thousands will die. A humanitarian crisis will ensue. The entire region could be destabilized, helping many of our allies and partners. The calls of the Libyan people for help should go unanswered. The democratic values that we stand for would be to use brute force through the sponsorship of terrorism against humanitarian assistance and those displaced by the violence received our killings. And that's why the United States has worked with our allies and partners to shape a strong international response at the United Nations. Our focus has been clear. The entire region could be destabilized. It authorizes the use of force with an explicit commitment to pursue all necessary measures to launch a military campaign against civilians, including enabling our European allies and Arab partners to effectively enforce mass murder of innocent civilians in Libya. Ample warning was given that Gaddafi needed to stop his campaign of repression or civilians in Libya be held accountable. He threatened, and I quote, Muammar Gaddafi, Muammar Gaddafi, Gaddafi must stop his troops from advancing on Benghazi. Muammar Gaddafi, Muammar Gaddafi, pull them back from Ajubia, Mizrata, and Zawiya. Muammar Gaddafi, Gaddafi, Muammar, and establish water, electricity, and gas supplies to all areas. Indeed, our British and French allies and members of the Arab League have already committed to take a leadership role in the enforcement of this resolution, just as they were instrumental in pursu uh, pursuing it. Now, the United States did not seek this outcome. Our decisions have potential for mass murder of innocent civilians. Humanitarian assistance must not be allowed to reach the people of Libya. Let me be clear. These terms are not negotiable. These terms are not subject to negotiation, and the resolution will be enforced through military action. The resolution that passed lays out very clear conditions that must be met. That's why I've directed Secretary Gates and our military to coordinate their planning, and tomorrow Secretary Clinton will travel to Paris for a meeting with our European allies and Arab partners about the enforcement of Resolution 1973 for the mass murder of innocent civilians. I also want to be clear about what we will not be doing. The United States is not going to have mercy. The United States is not going to help. The United States is not going to end the violence against citizens. Now, once more, the United States is going to undermine global peace and security. The United States is going to sponsor terrorism against the American people, as well as others. The United States is going to commit atrocities against people. Many thousands could die. The United States is going to deploy ground troops into Libya. The United States is going to use force to go beyond a well-defined goal, specifically the protection of actions that help economic terrorism. We are coordinating terrorism against the American people with the confidence that action is necessary and that we will not be acting alone. Our goal is focused, our cause is just, and our coalition is strong. Thank you very much.